Hey everyone, this is Chris. Um, I got a question from a friend of mine on how I age uh, wood to look like metal. So I wanted to uh, show you that, and this is sort of a version of um, adding a patina to different objects to give it a more aged and uh, unique look. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. It's really easy. I'm gonna do a couple of different paints and uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, the first one I'm gonna use is uh, this one here. It is actually called Patina Satin. It's like $1.50. Uh, we're gonna use that and a spray bottle with uh, three parts water, one part paint, and you're gonna give it a good mix. And you're just going to dust the piece from about, say, 12 inches or so. And you don't wanna cover it too much because you want to be able to blend that in a little later. And I've covered all of my important parts with painter's tape, and that's pretty much it. So we're gonna let that run for a second. And then once it dries, I'm going to hit it with this, and it is a aged bronze spray paint. And I'll be back to do that in just a minute. Okay, so I forgot to mention that after the first coat of the patina spray, which is right over there, uh, you're going to want to let that dry completely. I'm impatient, so I either use a hair dryer or a heat gun, which is amazing, and that dries it in less than half the time it actually takes. So once that's dry, you're going to spray and mist it again, here from about 12 inches or so away. And you're just gonna dust it, because you're gonna build up those layers of paint to give it a much more deeper and uh, guess uh, more impressive look once you're done and um, you're gonna do this a few times depending on the color variation and the intensity of the effect that you're looking for most of this box is made of wood and I'm trying to make certain parts of it look like metal not all of it because it's supposed to resemble like it was hobbled together from various parts around a shop and things like that so once that's done, we'll be back and then I'll show you how to do the spray paint part. And it's really easy. And uh, just to say too, I learned this method from uh, Van Oaks Props, which is a YouTube channel. It's an incredible guy who does these amazing uh, set pieces and Halloween designs and various other things that I definitely recommend you guys checking out. And that's uh, Van Oaks Props. And uh, those guys are awesome, so check them out. Thanks. Okay, so this is after about three coats of that uh, patina and water mixture. Um, I've done a little bit of the top here, and this is going to be painted a separate color because it's supposed to be added after. And uh, these are actually just uh, the bottoms of uh, dollar store wine glasses, the plastic ones, and they're stacked up to look like a, um, a piece of electronics. So uh, yeah, so here we go with the spray paint. Again, it's the uh, hammered aged bronze, and this is going to be something you'll want to do from a distance just to be sure you don't just cover it in what you need. And just to make sure too, just always give that a little spray so you know what your intensity is from a certain distance. And then while you're doing it, just start from a little bit further away than you're normally going to. And this is just going to gently kind of cover everything. If it gets a little bit on that sign, that's fine, because that's going to be painted a different color. Okay. Give that a shot right here. Okay. There, I just ran into my table saw. All right. that dry and uh, oop, maybe a little bit more right there good and I'll show you guys um, when we're done okay the next thing I wanted to talk about was how I add some additional rust color to the edges and different elements of the box around certain components and things like that and I primarily use these five colors uh, this one is called parchment burnt sienna crimson regular orange and deep yellow and I've laid out the amounts that I typically use like that. This is about to turn into a Bob Ross episode. I'm going to scoop these together and just give them a mix. So, so. So you get the consistency and the color tone that you're looking for. I'm gonna switch to a different knife here. Once 
once you get that to the level you want, scoop that up and use that as your paint. And I've prepared one to the level that I want already, so it's just like a cooking show. It's, now let me show you how I actually do this with this paint. Okay, so I've got the paint ready right there, and before I lay it down, I'm going to spray over the entire front of the box with some just standard spray adhesive, any kind will work, and it just just a light covering. You don't need much, because we're going to add some, some texture here by using some kosher salt. Uh, not very much, you don't need a lot. I'm just going to take it and sprinkle it in certain parts to give an aged look and help embellish some of the other pieces. And it's going to fall, but a good amount will stick and you don't need a lot. So I'm just going to keep going across the top like that. Good. And that should be good. Now we're going to use just a very simple chip brush. It just junk brush, you don't need a lot of them. You can get these online and get a, a ton of them for a very little amount of money. So I'm going to dab in the paint, just like this, and then I'm just gonna touch certain spots. Now, a little goes a long way, so you don't need very much. Just like this, and just push up. Okay. Get some more, just hit these edges, wherever it feels sort of necessary to put it it's obviously up to you it's pretty easy and this will dry lighter now, inside around some of the lights spots where there may have gotten some water damage over the years things like that you can rust out some of the screws things that aren't stainless steel typically rust a lot quicker Just dabbing, you're not swiping or painting. You don't need much, that's the, the tiniest amount you need. Right there. You can always add more. You don't wanna hit some of the salt, but we're gonna cover that up in just a little bit. So we don't need to paint the salt parts. Okay, I'm gonna do some more of this and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so after I added the rust color with the paint, I went around and just dabbed a little bit of the patina spray. Uh, I squirted some of it onto my little palette here and mixed it in a tiny bit with the orange and just dabbed it around a bit. Then I stepped back about two and a half feet almost and gave a good spray with the patina bottle just so it can get a gentle mist sort of all over the, the face of the box. And I went back again and hit it with the hammered bronze, the, uh, again from a, a wider distance this time, about, about two and a half feet, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to let this dry now. I'm probably going to hit it with the heat gun to get some of these uh, salt crystals to maybe melt and drip a tiny bit, and then I'll peel off all these uh, pieces of tape to cover the components, and I'll show you how it looks. All right. All right, so this is the final result. Now, I still have to go back and touch up the signage, the KR-71B sign, but I painted a little bit of the top element in the hose, and I touched up all around a little bit more with just some light orange mixture of that uh, rust paint that I made. And you can see that our lights are working, and we are good to go. So uh, thanks for watching. I um, hope you got something out of it. If you have any questions, just uh, send me a message or uh, leave a comment. This is my first time doing something like this, so I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, if you want to see anything else in the future, um, just let me know. Thanks. <laughs>